G'day folks, I just uh, thought I'd talk about something a little bit different tonight, um, shavers, have a close shave, mm -hmm. uh, I buy uh, shavers and shave cream when I'm back in Australia and I tell you what, these, uh, these are other exceptionally good uh, Chic Extreme 3 blades or uh, maybe that our water is perfectly clean here and you really you really get a good shave and it holds it the the razor holds this edge better with the really clean water I know some people might not think it's uh, really clean here but it, it's basically all rainwater um, even the water that comes from the water tower got collected um, in the dam on the other side of the village on the hill I suppose it's groundwater then isn't it but it's from the rain <laughs> we do filter our water <laughs> um, yeah so interesting question uh, is the water the uh, the hidden secret or is it the is it the fact that they're special razor blades maybe a freak set of blades in a packet I bought back in Australia because I don't always get two months out of a razor you know that's 25 shaves face and head so you know back in Australia I might get four shaves maybe five but with this one it's uh, I've, I've given it a given it a holiday from now on um, uh, it's not really pulling hard on my face. I always have trouble because my face is not a good face to shave. Um, but it's been been pretty good. I'd recommend it. I've had this brand before and this particular Extreme 3 type before and they're, they're pretty good. Um, yeah, so I used one back in Australia and I've got two left in there. Plus... As a bonus, <laughs> there's another packet, and I'm going to try these, which are Extreme 3 Ultimate, so I'm kind of hoping the Ultimate is better than the uh, regular sensitive ones I buy, and because I'm game, sometimes, I got these in Aldi, mm, you're probably thinking, what an idiot, no, i got to try them. You know, you can't just pan someone. I mean, I don't pan Aldi a lot, but some of their products, some of their meat products especially, I wouldn't wouldn't eat. Um, but I thought, oh, I'll give them a try. They're probably made in China like everything else, and maybe they're okay, maybe they're not. So, yep, I'll leave those to last. And when it comes to shave cream, this is the one I use regularly, but not that I'm a great fan of Gillette. It's just that it's on special on a regular basis when I'm back in Australia. <laughs> and uh, I normally buy three or four, but Chic were on special too when I was back in Australia last time. So I thought, heck, I've got to buy some. Yeah, get some, give it a try, see how it goes. Um, then I bought it home and I'm here in Thailand and I'm sitting there looking at it and I think, I've had this one before. <laughs> it may be in a different packet. It didn't have the uh, that logo on the top there and it just sort of, I looked at it and I thought, hmm, I'm sure I've had it before. But anyway, that's, uh, that's my little stash shave cream. That'll do me for a year probably. Um, razor blades. Well, go and buy this Chic Ultimate Extreme 3 uh, Sensitive. I might not get all these razor blades used by the end of the year. may still have some of them next year. And how long away is that? Four months, yeah. I might even have some left at the end of next year. Who knows? Anyway, I, uh, I just thought I'd bring that up and sort of like, no expert on water or the actual effects of water on stainless steel. One would assume that stainless steel blades uh, can handle water and not be affected too much by it. Yeah, well, 
maybe someone who's watching the video can send me a message and give me the answers, which I don't know. But all I can say is, hope you all have a good night and uh, I'll catch up with you again. Bye now.